Hi there and welcome to Wassail Woodworking. On today's third and final installment on the, my CNC laser series, we're going to be uh, working in Mach 3 to make the changes and making the electrical uh, changes necessary in the control box to allow the CNC machine to use a laser to cut and burn things. So if you haven't seen episode one above, uh, click on it now to see how I went about purchasing the laser, installing it, and making the shoe to allow it to work. And then episode two, we actually went over how to install the ductwork in order to get the smoke out of the uh, shop so that you can breathe nicely and get the stink out of the house. And episode three, today we're going to be going over first the changes in Mach 3 that are necessary in order to get this to work. The electrical changes in the control box that I did to get it to temporarily work. And then I ordered some new parts that we're going to test in the third section. And I'll show you how that's all worked out in the fourth part. And then lastly, we're going to actually get to burn some paper and wood and show you that all the changes have actually worked out great. So join me today on Wassail Woodworking. Begin laser. So one of the first things that I had to do was I had to make a different profile. So what I did here is normally I have my mill and I created one called laser. So there's different ways of doing this, but the simplest way I found was to go to my computer, go to the C drive, Mach 3, and scroll down until you get to the XML files. And down here at the bottom, you'll see my mill. And what I did is I took that and I made a copy that I renamed Laser. And then I was able to go in and you can see on your properties, that it's uh, C colon Mach 3, Mach 3 dot exe forward slash p space my mill. So I took the my mill part right there and I changed that to laser, as you can see right here on the screen. <clears throat> Once I had that, then I could go in and open this up. So now that I have this open, I had to do a few different things. Since we're going to be using the Z axis to trigger the laser on and off, what I did is I actually took the Z motor and made that the A motor, which is listed here as uh, uh, the fourth axis instead of A, although it's listed in other places as A. And then underneath configuration, under ports and pins, I went into motor outputs and I took the 6 and 7 that were underneath the Z axis and I took it to the A axis and uh, I had to check this box because that's how it was previously and then underneath the Z axis since I don't want it to actually move I just want the directional output I actually uh, took the direction and changed that to number 16 and so what this does is when the z-axis gets the direction to move down it triggers uh, output number 16 and output number 16 is the control for the direction that goes uh, and that ends up going to the uh, breakout board to the relay that triggers on and off I couldn't cut the power to the power supply because it was too slow, but if you hit the relay, it's very quick and will uh, make that work. So there's that. And then uh, also I had to go underneath motor tuning and, I, and now at this point A would show up and I had to make sure Z and A is the same. For some reason the, um, the uh, scale is different, but everything's the same. The 2000, the 100 are the same and um, everything else as well. So all that's good. So you'll want to click OK on that. And then underneath general configuration, you want to uh, uncheck A axis is angular because it's not. You actually want to use it like you were using the Z axis. So you uh, basically go in there and you unclick that and hit OK. And at that point, that's really all you have to do in the configuration. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, set it up to where um, your clearance is at 0 0.01 inches 
and you're um, cutting at point negative point zero one inches. So basically there's no delay on the z-axis because obviously the z-axis is not going to move but <clears throat> it'll fire immediately without much delays. If you had like two inches it would take a while to get there meanwhile it would burn a hole in something. So then the next changes I had to actually do were to the uh, controls and I'm going to uh, show that to you now. Begin laser ignition! So this is my uh, cabinet that I keep all my controls in. Turn it on, you see I got some lights to uh, make it look interesting and, and such. But uh, what I have right now to make this work, and I plan on changing some of this, is you have the 36 inch, I mean 36 volt power supply, the three controllers, the um, breakout board, which right now is a parallel for breakout board, then I'm probably going to be changing that to a USB one very shortly. And then you have um, this unit right here that controls the fan and the relay on the board right now controls the output of the um, power going to the laser so it can turn on and off very quickly and as well as there's also another one of these over on the uh, CNC machine to actually control the router when I'm using it for routing instead of uh, uh, laser work. And of course then I have one master switch that turns everything on like that. What I needed to do, what I want to do however, is I want to consolidate. I have um, this power supply for the lights and the fan in the box that runs at 12 volts. Um, a little bit lower down I have the power supply for the fan and um, the duct fan going outside and then down below here I have the power supply for the laser itself which is a, a 2 amp 12 volt supply. So all three of these I'm going to consolidate into um, I'm going to consolidate into a new power supply here that's 12 volts or it's very similar to that and then I can get rid of the one, two, and three power supplies just to clean this up a little bit. Begin laser. So here is the 12 volt 10 amp power supply I'm going to be using to consolidate those three other power supplies and this right here is a um, relay board, two relays on it. I'm going to be using to control the uh, laser and the uh, vent that I did in episode two. Help me install that. So first I'm going to check them all out and make sure they all work before I start tearing things apart. Okay, so I've set this thing up, checked to make sure it was 110 volts. There's a little switch in here. The light shows, indicator light shows that it's actually on. Got the uh, power hooked up. Not grounded at this time, but the other one will be grounded. And I hooked up a 12 volt fan to it that doesn't really use much, 0.15 amps. And then I checked it and uh, brought down the voltage until it was exactly 12 volts and uh, with the little adjustment screw right here. So what I have here is I got the uh, relay ribbon going over here and I've taken one of the leads off because I'm only testing one of the relays, this one. And I got the power hooked up uh, hot to VCC, uh, the black to ground and all that comes from a, a USB supplier. And then I have this, it's jumping the pin from um, the relay to the ground. And as I click this, yeah, see it well. Begin laser ignition! <laughs> So we've uh, made our improvements. Open this door, I'll turn that off so that you can see better. So you notice the, uh, all the power um, supplies that were where there were three of them have all been eliminated. And now we're running through this uh, regulated power supply, um, 12 volt, 10 amp, right next to the 36 uh, volt supply that powers all of the controllers. I've also added uh, two relay board in there and that's being controlled off the fifth axis uh, to actually control the um, duct going outside to take the smoke out and firing the laser. So those have been put in, the older uh, solid state relay has been taken out and everything started being cleaned up which is uh, working fairly well although there are a few wires I'd really rather be different 
but that's fine, but that'll last for probably a few weeks until I install the USB control board that will be going right here, and that will be a different video. So for now, everything's working well. Begin laser. Well, that didn't work out quite like I thought it would. Uh, but better than that, as you can see on uh, the second page, it burned it in just perfect. So now we will uh, burn it into the wood, see how that looks. So I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, this last and final part of the three-part series. If you uh, liked it, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Put your comments below. Let me know what you thought about it. I'm glad this whole series worked out. I think it, uh, things worked out well. Hopefully this gives the confidence for people to do this on their own. And um, hey, subscribe today, and I'll see you next time on Wall Soul Woodworking. Thanks for watching.